In this video, we'll be going over how a computer transfers data in serial transfer scenarios and parallel transfer scenarios. We will start off with a serial data transfer. In serial data transfer, there is a single line that is used for data transfer which connects the sending device to the receiving device, as depicted on this slide. We will need to know some terminology to determine how the data will be transferred. We have the clock, which is a periodic square waveform used for timing and synchronizing of data transfer between the two devices. We have a binary number system, which is a two-state number system, which consists of logic 1 or on state or a logic 0 or off state. And finally, a bit, which is one digit of a binary number system, so a 1 or a 0. As pictured and represented with the letter A, these bits will form a square waveform that will be sent on the line connecting the sending and receiving device. In this example, we'll assume the data is transferred every time the rising edge of the clock square wave happens. It is useful to note that for certain circuits it can also happen on the falling edge. We can see from the diagram that for every cycle of the clock, one bit is transferred during the duration of the clock cycle. So at the rising edge of the clock waveform at T0, a 1 is transferred. At T1, a 0 is transferred. And at T2, a 0 is transferred. And so on and so forth. Now in parallel data transfer, there is a sending device that is connected to the receiving device with multiple lines where the data can be transferred. In this case, there are three lines connecting the sending device to the receiving device. When the clock cycle rising edge happens, each line puts out a 1 bit, 0 or 1 signal to the receiving device. So in this case, at T0, line C has a 1, line B has a 0, and line A has a 1. At T1, line C has a 1, line B has a 1, and line A has a 0, and so on and so forth. So now, let's compare time when sending 4 bits of information in series versus parallel. In series, there is one path which can transfer 1 bit per clock cycle. So the time to transfer 4 bits will be 4 clock cycles. In the parallel circuit, on the other hand, we have 4 paths which each can transfer 1 bit per clock cycle. So the time to transfer 4 bits is 1 clock cycle. It is useful to note that at faster clock cycles, more data will be transferred. PC enthusiasts will increase the clock cycle to increase the speed of their machine. This is known as overclocking. Now let's go over the advantages of serial data transfer versus parallel data transfer. The major advantage of serial data transfer is that only one line is needed to transfer the data. This can result in a lower cost due to not having redundant components compared to parallel. The major advantage of parallel data transfer is that you can transfer data faster assuming the same clock speed. That concludes this video. Hope that I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.